There have been many references to the Depression, the Depression of the 30s, and um, that was when I grew up. And like everybody else in this room, the uh, events that occurred as you were growing up really <coughs> shape your attitude about what we're facing today. The more polite people say I'm frugal. Uh, people who know me might call me a skin flint or a penny pincher. And as a matter of fact, that is what I am. We have to take a look at our state and ask ourselves a very serious question. As we went through the budget, this is what we did. How will decisions that we make today affect our state's economic vitality? How are we going to lead the state as we're moving forward? <clears throat> For example, and we had this discussion early in our caucus, the expansion of gambling is something people have said no to, and so we weren't going to go there. <clears throat> in his State of the Union address, President Obama said the best anti-poverty program is a world-class education, and we agree. While there are some cuts in the, in the governor's all-cuts budget that we could accept, there were other places that we just had to draw the line. <clears throat> To the idea of cutting early childhood education assistance, which comes with an early diagnosis of children's ailments, that's the most critical point in their learning development and the Working Connections Child Care Program, and we said no. To the idea of cutting all day kindergarten to give kids the preparation they need to succeed in grade school, we said no. To the idea of cutting levy equalization and creating unequal learning opportunities in classrooms across the state, we said no. To the idea of making a single cut in basic education at a time when we need to be investing more, we said no. To the idea of cutting the financial aid that makes the dream of college a reality for thousands of young adults who would never have the chance to go to college, we said no. Our students are the key to our economic future. And we said no to cutting being the solution to our current economic problems. We said no to cutting the services that will pave the way for a robust economy. And we made a decision early that it was not going to be all cuts and it couldn't be all revenue. We aren't going to back away from our commitment to improving our economic future. Not now, not ever, and especially not now.